Since the first American Water Works Association Committee on Product Standardization was formed in 1881, we have been on the forefront of product and operation standards for the water community. From our first official standard released in 1908 to the formation of the AWWA Standards Council in 1920, to the 190 plus standards we've produced to date, we've been a constant expert resource. AWWA standards are developed through a very rigorous process that uh, opens the process up to every interested party to get involved. There are four main steps that are in our standards development process. The first is in initiating standards work, and that can come from a committee, from our standards council, from an interested party in the industry, even from our board of directors. Anyone who has a need for a new standard can bring that to AWWA for consideration. The main part of standards development is our committee work. We, we bring together subject matter experts from uh, different aspects of the water industry, utilities, consulting engineers, academics, regulators, uh, and manufacturers and suppliers. We bring together those different interests to get their collective experience and knowledge of a product, service, or uh, management practice and put them through a very rigorous uh, approval process with balloting and debate, committee meetings, and uh, back and forth to develop what is the true industry consensus. Once the committee has developed their standard and approved it, we do put it out for public review process. Any interested party who has interest in the topic of the standard can review the standard and provide their comments before we publish it as an AWWA standard. Our Oversight AWWA Standards Council also reviews all of our standards for consistency with the program and any fatal flaws. And finally, it goes to our AWWA Board of Directors for approval and also to the American National Standards Institute for approval as an ANSI American National Standard. Well, the need for AWWA standards, first and foremost, is the protection of public health. The driving factor is just they are very well respected. They have been around for um, over 100 years. Our first standard was 1908. I think they're very much trusted in the industry. We are accredited through ANSI, the American National Standards Institute, and that helps us generate a robust level of consensus for all of our standards works, and ultimately it saves utilities a lot of time and money. What has kept me at AWWA all these years, 20 plus years now, is I, I so enjoy working with the volunteers who uh, work on our standards. From the manufacturing point of view, the AWWA standards are a collective guideline that provides manufacturers with the basic minimum requirements for products offered in the industry. For example, they cover materials, design, connection configuration, sizes, and performance expectations. While I was in operations, as well as I'm in operations now, we use the standards for a basis for how we operate and maintain the assets we're responsible for. We use the standards for rehabilitation effort. All of the critical areas that help us to better manage the assets we are responsible for or how we use these standards. From source to storage, from treatment to distribution, AWWA standards cover all areas of water treatment and supply. Trust AWWA standards represent industry consensus and American National Standards Institute accreditation, meaning a true industry-wide agreement. Learn more about AWWA standards at awwa.org standards or get involved and volunteer by reaching out to standards at awwa.org.